You know, one of the things, I drove the Ford to work the other day, and she did great. There was a few times when it would go into a curve, and I would hear a noise on the front end. And it sounded like something scrubbing or rubbing. So, when I got home, I came up underneath the front end of it, and I saw that if you look right up there, you see how close that top arm and ball joint is to the tire? It's so close that when you go into a curve and this tire flexes a little bit, it rubs. So, in fact, even that, even that part of the arm right there you can see is just almost against the wheel. So I went online and uh, bought me some little spacers that would bring that wheel and tire out 3 16 of an inch. Uh, I know this car runs a really skinny wheel and a really tall skinny tire. And uh, these radial tires are probably a little bit fatter rim. I'm guessing that original rim might be five inches wide and this one might be six or six and a half. So I think that's why that happened. But it's not fatal and it's easy to fix. That's one of the things I'm gonna to do today. This car drove and rode good. Uh, I don't believe it's got a thermostat in it and I'm pretty sure I probably bought one to go in it. So I'm gonna look through my things and see if I can find that today. That would be a nice thing to do is put a thermostat in there so I'd have a little heat and put these wheel spacers on there and also on the front end of the Chrysler, it feels like the toe-in needs to come in a little. And I don't know if y'all understand what toe-in is or not, but two, the two front tires are both facing in the same direction. If they're, if they're not towed in by about a sixteenth of an inch, the car will kind of dart in the road. It'll feel like when the steering wheel goes one day, it kind of darts one way and it darts the other way. And that toe-in puts just a little pressure on the tire between each other to kind of keep that from happening. And that's what I got going on in the front of the car. I had, I had to put new ball joists in it and uh, they fixed that transmission leak while they were under there. And they looked over the whole front end and everything and said everything was good. Uh, I didn't have them align it because I didn't think it needed it, but uh, it feels like it does need something. And I think uh, maybe I can set the toe in. Take off on Friday. 